entrepreneurship, and the color and creativity that is the Crop Over Festival. So let's start with the event specifically crafted to commemorate the milestone dates of the season of emancipation. From It's an honor to be here. I do love Crop Over and I participate in various ways. We were challenged with the task of compiling 50 songs across the various categories of music, especially competitive categories in Crop Over, namely social commentary slash piccadilly crop repertoire, sweet soca as it became known. Power Soaker, as it's now called, and Bashment Soaker. None of the songs were winners in the official competitions of Crop Over. And an artist could not be represented more than once in that list of 50. <coughs> and if that artist was the lead vocalist of a group, then that would cover both considerations. We realized that there was a little issue, particularly for the, the judges, that when you move from one location, like the song changes, right? You go to one location where the song is excellent, then you go to another venue, and the acoustics is bad, and you know, the judges really have to concentrate, and you know, as businesses, strain the, the, the ears to hear, right? Um, and last year we said we were trying and see if we could get the judging and one location, one sound system, one set of equipment and create a level playing field. So we are going to start that this year. Um, so just let me tell you the locations. There are going to be two locations next year we probably get one. Um, July 15th will be the Stray Cats at the Daphne Joseph Packet Theatre. And then the Big Show, the 16th, House of Soka, the 17th, and Shining Stars, the 18th, all at the gymnasium. Big song system and, and it works. Then Super Gladiators will be at the Daphne, Daphne Joseph Packet Theatre, and All Stars at the gym on the 27th. And congratulations um, both to the National Culture Foundation, um, all of the staff, chairman, um, as well to the board of the National Cultural Foundation um, and as well to the staff of the Division of Culture. This year for Season of Emancipation 2024 and for the 50th anniversary of Propova, we are delivering for you more. And I hope that as the CEO spoke to the calendar for the Season of Emancipation and as well for the 50th anniversary, that you saw the weaving of that story of more. The cultural landscape in Barbados is set to explode for 2024. And I want you to participate in that explosion that is taking place. Even as we have announced here today, the launch of the season of emancipation and crop over, during the month of May, we will also welcome approximately 500 Liberians who would be undertaking a pilgrimage commemorating the 159th anniversary of the movement of over 346 Barbadians to Liberia. Um, and over that period, or because of that movement, we gave Liberia two presidents, two presidents, two Liberian presidents of Barbadian um, lineage. And those Liberians would be coming here, those Barbadians um, would be coming back to Barbados um, to celebrate, to commemorate over that period of May, over 500. Also during the season of emancipation, we will also take the opportunity to celebrate the 100th birthday of Shirley Chisholm. 
and most of you are, I hope, would know Shirley Chisholm. She spent most of some of her childhood here in Barbados. But amongst her athletes was the fact that Shirley was one of the only, or is the only, perhaps, or the first African African woman um, who ran a presidential campaign. Right now, let me start it. Boy, right now, let me start it. Boy.